Hello, my name is Chase Lindemann, and I'm a Solutions Architect at Amazon Web Services. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use AWS License Manager to provide subscription licenses for Microsoft Remote Desktop Services. We'll first start with an overview of the Remote Desktop Services roles. Then we will view options for licensing Remote Desktop Services on AWS. I'll then go over each of their prerequisites and then show a walkthrough of the process. Microsoft Remote Desktop Services are a set of roles which can be installed on Windows Server. The main goal of Remote Desktop Services is to provide a session-based desktop environment to multiple users simultaneously. By default, Windows Server only allows two user sessions to be logged in at the same time. If you want to increase the number of user sessions, Remote Desktop Services must be installed and licensed appropriately. There are multiple remote desktop services roles, but the two primary roles are the remote desktop session host role and the remote desktop licensing role. The remote desktop session host role is used to provide multiple user sessions, while the remote desktop licensing role is used to monitor the user sessions while tracking licensing usage. Microsoft Remote Desktop Services can be licensed by bringing your own license or by using AWS provided licenses. If you want to bring your own license, you would need to purchase Remote Desktop User Client Access Licenses, also known as CALS. Maintaining active software assurance is necessary to maintain compliance. Another option for bringing your own licenses is through a service provider license agreement, also known as a SPLA. When using a SPLA, Subscriber access licenses are used to track user usage. If you are a service provider with a SPLA agreement, you can bring RDS subscriber access licenses to AWS, but only through September 30th, 2025, as Microsoft has announced they are ending SPLA BYOL in listed provider clouds after that date. The final licensing option is using AWS provided licenses through the AWS License Manager service. The AWS provided licenses are pay as you go. Each license is assigned to a user account and billed on a monthly basis. This means you can scale up or down depending on your monthly application needs. When using AWS provided licenses, the remote desktop licensing server will be provided by AWS as a managed service. Active Directory is a necessary prerequisite. You can use a self-managed domain or use the AWS managed Microsoft Active Directory service. A service account will be necessary for interaction between AWS and the Active Directory domain, even when using AWS managed Active Directory. This service account will need permissions to add the AWS managed remote desktop licensing server to the domain during the provisioning process. The credentials for this service account will be stored in AWS Secrets Manager and must follow a specific naming convention. Let's start the walkthrough by taking a look at how to set this up in AWS Secrets Manager. To store the user account credentials, we first need to go to AWS Secrets Manager and to store a new secret. You'll have different options for different secret types. We want to choose other type of secret. Here we're going to create key value pairs for the username and password. Click to add another row. Then for the key value we're going to type in username and the name of our user. On the second row we're going to type in password and our service account password. Once we've set the key value pairs for our credentials, scroll down to the bottom of the page to click Next. When configuring the secret name, it's important to use the prefix License Manager User. At this point, we can fill out the rest of the secret name with whatever we'd like to call it. Once you've finished this secret name, you can scroll down to the bottom, click Next, 
Scroll down to the bottom again, click Next. Review your configuration, then click Store. When we refresh Secrets Manager, we can now see that our secret is stored. If you need to reference these credentials, you can retrieve the secret value. Now let's go to License Manager. Under AWS License Manager, on the left-hand side under User-Based Subscriptions, go to Products. The Marketplace subscription status should say that it is inactive. Before we can begin, we'll need to activate this Marketplace subscription. From the Microsoft Remote Desktop Services product page, click the link to view in AWS Marketplace. In the Marketplace, we'll be able to see additional information about the Remote Desktop Services licenses. Click View Purchase Options. Here we can see additional information like the terms and conditions which can be downloaded. When you're ready to proceed, press Subscribe. Upon returning to the Remote Desktop Services product page, you'll now see that the Marketplace subscription status has been marked to active. You'll also be given a new banner called Getting Started, which shows the additional steps. Mine have already been marked as completed, as this is a test account where we've gone through the process multiple times. To begin, press Register New to register a new Active Directory. In our Register Active Directory options, we have the option to use an AWS Managed Active Directory or Self-Managed Active Directory. To proceed with an AWS Managed Active Directory, choose your deployment out of the drop-down list, then click Register. If using Self-Managed Active Directory, you'll need to input information about your Active Directory domain, such as your domain name, and the IP addresses of your domain controllers. If you only have one domain controller, you only need to enter in one IP address. Under Networking, choose the VPC that contains your Active Directory deployment. Under Subnets, choose the subnets that contain your Active Directory domain controllers. Under Secret, choose the secret that we created earlier in the prerequisites. If you'd like to deploy a self-managed Active Directory, click Register to continue. Once your Active Directory deployment finishes registering, it's time to move to Step 2 to configure the Microsoft Remote Desktop Services licensing server. To configure the Remote Desktop License Server, you only need to select the secret that we created during the prerequisites. When you're ready to proceed, click Configure. Once the licensing server has finished registering, it's time to proceed with subscribing users. But first I'd like to point out that if you scroll down, you can see information about your Active Directory deployment. It's important to note the RDS licensing server endpoint or server IP addresses. This information is used when creating things like a group policy in order to point the remote desktop session hosts to the licensing server. Let's subscribe users. When subscribing users, first choose the Active Directory deployment then enter the username that you would like to subscribe. Before proceeding, be sure to have updated your remote desktop session host with the correct license manager endpoint. When you're ready to proceed, click subscribe. Now that our user has been subscribed successfully, we can now scroll down and see our user information underneath our Active Directory. This user account can now be used to log into the Remote Desktop Session host using Remote Desktop Protocols. 
Once your RD session hosts have been configured with the endpoint of the Remote Desktop License Manager, you can verify the configuration by going to Remote Desktop Services in the Administrative Tools to the Remote Desktop Licensing Diagnoser. Here you will see the endpoint for your license server, the number of licenses you have available for clients, and the licensing mode set per, for per user. This server is configured as a remote desktop session host. I can verify the number of users logged in if I go to Task Manager and the Users tab. As you can see, three users are logged into this server at the same time, bypassing the default two-user limit. I hope this was informative. Please see the video description for additional links to documentation. Thank you for watching.